Hi, it's Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Amy Rich coming at you with another Stampin' Sunday and excited to share my alternate paper pumpkin project for the month of October 2018. These are the items that are in the kit. They come with three adorable little cellophane bags and then tags. Um, so you fill, you fill the bag, you put the tag on, you know, you can stamp it, you can add your little um, pumpkin and ghost and bat and it's super cute and it is cute and I made a whole bunch of them but I've already given them away. When I first saw the kit I wondered what in the world these things were and then when I read the directions I found out. They go on the backs of the ghost so I've already put um, the glue dots from the kit on the back of the ghost's eyes or on his head or whatever and then you put the silver side facing down and then what you get is shiny eyes. That's kind of cool. And then the same with the pumpkin. I've already put my um, mini glue dots on there. And then we're going to put the silver on the back. And then we've got our shiny jack-o'-lantern eyes. So we're going to use these three objects on our card, on our alternate project for today. And here are the cardstock supplies that I will be using. Let me just show you. I've got four two by two inch paper, uh, paper pumpkin squares, pumpkin pie squares, and then layers to go on those pumpkin pie squares. I've got one and seven eighths inch squares, um, three of them in whisper white and one in basic black. And already I know that I want my ghost on that black one. So I'm just going to stick him on right away without wasting any more time. So we'll just put him on there. I will do the bat on the back of one of the white ones. I've got my hair all over the place. All right, I'm on the white one. And he can stick off the edge a little bit. And then, of course, the pumpkin. We'll add the pumpkin in there as well on another white piece. And then all of these get layered onto our pumpkin pie squares. Then we're going to set those aside. So let's get all that assembled. And then the black one. Couldn't use, obviously, um, a piece of white because the ghost would have disappeared, which I guess maybe would have been okay. And then we're going to set this one aside. We'll stamp it later. All right, then let's go after our cardstock here. We've got uh, for the card a piece of crushed curry that's five and a half by eight and a half. We've also got a piece of designer series paper from Toil and Trouble in the 2018 holiday catalog and this one measures four inches by five and a quarter and this measures the same four inches by five and a quarter this is whisper white to go inside the card and then we've got a piece of two inch by nine inch crushed curry cardstock and i have scored it and hopefully you can see i've scored it at two inches two and three quarter inches three and a half inches and four and a quarter inches. So when I fold this, we're gonna have one edge that's just a little bit longer, and that's what we want. And I'm just gonna fold on all of those so they're gonna, so they're gonna um, fold nicely um, for the card that I'm gonna make. And this is actually a waterfall card. Perhaps you've made one before. Um, and I'm going to start by taking a piece of pumpkin pie that's three quarters by four inches and what we want to remember here is not to put any adhesive on the middle so I'm just going to put a little adhesive if I can get my tape move in here and I'm going to just stick it kind of close to the bottom and then to make sure that stays in place I am going to add some brads and yes Stampin' Up! does sell brads again this is the metallic collection. So we've got uh, basically gold, silver, and copper in here. I'm just going to take a couple of silver ones. 
And then I'll punch my holes with my paper piercer and put those brads in. And by the magic of television, we've got that done. All right, so now I'm ready to attach this to my card. And then I'm just gonna take some tear and tape, just a little piece, and put that across the middle. All right, so I'm going to now um, attach this, but before I do, I'm gonna use an eighth inch circle punch. Just close this so I know kind of where to punch it. All right, and then I'm gonna take a length of the Baker's Twine, it's black and silver. It comes in the paper pumpkin kit. And I'm gonna fold it in half. It's eight inches, I think I said that. And then um, stick my ends through the loop on the other side. Okay, so that we've got the nice pull tab there. And then we're just gonna slide this underneath our pumpkin pie strip and we don't want it to stick except for on top of that paper paper pumpkin I keep doing it pumpkin pie strip so we'll take that um, backing of the tear and tape off and just make sure it's straight and then adhere it just to that strip so you can see it's floating floating around here like this and that is designed that way all right, so then what you have are these four sections here. This one is the two inch section at the bottom. And then these are just your three quarter inch sections here. So we're gonna start at the bottom. And now we have to come back to our square that we haven't done anything with yet. Okay, we're gonna take our eek stamp from the paper pumpkin kit. And then it, the kit does come with a basic gray ink pad, just a little spot. So we'll get that inked up. And then that's gonna go kind of at the top of our square. And then I'm gonna grab a memento, tuxedo black memento ink pad, which does not come in the kit, but I'm sure most of you have a black pad at home. And then we'll just stamp the It's Halloween down there at the bottom. All right, now we're ready to attach that to our paper pumpkin. No, pumpkin pie square. Okay, then we're going to go back to the tear and tape because we want this all to stay together really well. So we're going to put a couple pieces of the tear and tape on that two inch section and then one on each of the other sections. All right, so we've got that done. Now let's start assembling. So the eek should fit right on that square. So put that on first. Then we'll put the ghost and we want to go right up to the scored line but not overlapping it. And then we'll do the bat next and again right up to the scored line but not overlapping. And finally the pumpkin and look at how cute. All right, but you say, I can't see the bat and I can't see the ghost. That's why we need to do that. That's so fun. That's a waterfall card. And you could leave, you could just do a quarter sheet of your paper and, and write your message down here and that can be it. I've decided we're gonna add that piece of white to the inside. One thing I didn't show you with the kit earlier are these great stickers. These are um, silver foil stickers and it says boo. 
So we got to get all the centers out of those. I always just stick my fingers on them and then they, they come off and stay on my fingers. We'll do the boo. And then the, the project kit also has a little bat. So we'll take our basic gray again and stamp a few bats. So then we can put that on the inside of our card and it is complete. And who wouldn't like to get that fun waterfall card for Halloween? Super fun. So if you got the paper pumpkin kit for the month of October, you can recreate this card or use the waterfall idea on some other with some other stamps or cutouts. So I hope you enjoyed that Stampin' Sunday project for you, and we'll see you next time.